The effort to decriminalize marijuana in British Columbia got some high-profile, if not highly surprising, support today. Four former attorneys general who are calling on the Premier to overturn the current ban on pot. How's that going down? The CBC's Ian Hanamansing has that story. Ian? Wendy, they were powerful cabinet ministers. One was even Premier. But now they're taking on what could be their toughest political fight. When you think of the marijuana movement, you may well picture scenes like this. But the face of the protest is changing in British Columbia, from the streets to the boardroom of a blue-chip law firm. Jeff Plant is a former attorney general. That what the war on drugs has done is create an enormously fertile ground for violent criminal activity. That's what we have to stop. In B.C., the drug wars are being waged on two fronts. Police expending huge resources to track down those who grow and sell marijuana. And the deadly battle among the criminal gangs for control of drug profits. But if marijuana was legal... But what would change would be the users wouldn't have to go to the smugglers and the traffickers to get it. They could get it at a taxed place, at a regulated place, just like the liquor store. Keep in mind, Osange and the three other former AGs, Liberals and New Democrats, are making their provocative pitch now that they're out of politics. Listen to the current Premier sidestep the question today. I am going to leave the marijuana debate to the federal government. It's in their sole role, uh, sole sphere of responsibility. So um, as a Premier, I respect that former attorneys general have taken this stand, people who are outside of politics, but as a premier, I'm going to leave this to the federal government. The advocates of legalization say they have numbers on their side, claiming a majority of British Columbians support changing the law. And if there's one thing I know about the government of Canada, it's that they pay close attention to what the people of Canada are saying. And if the majority, the strong majority of the people of Canada are arguing that it's time for a policy change here, sooner or later, the government will listen. Safe to say changing the law is not on the federal government's agenda. And many people here remember just how hard Ottawa fought against the supervised drug injection site, all the way to the Supreme Court of Canada. Wendy? Thanks so much, Ian. Ian Hanneman.